30 years ago today, February 5, 1988, the historical show, WDF, the main event. We get Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant in a huge, much anticipated rematch from WrestleMania 3. We get the Honky Tonk Man and Macho Man Randy Savage for the Intercontinental Championship. Why did I decide to review this? Well, 30 years ago it happened. And that's insane. This is also, this show, no other show has been watched more by more people than this show. 34 million people at home tuned in on network television to see the main event. And this was a huge show. This was a big fucking deal. And in my opinion, they did far more in this hour and a half broadcast than they building up to WrestleMania 4 than WWE does now with three fucking plus hour Raws and SmackDowns building up to WrestleManias. This was just one of the greatest television shows the WWE has ever put on. We start off with the classic Saturday Night Main Event introduction. Very cool. I love this song. It has canon interview promos from Hogan and Andre and Honky and Savage. It's good stuff. So we start off with a Honky Tonk Man interview, a Honky Tonk Man promo. He he drops a whole he dropped name drops a whole bunch of Elvis Presley songs talking about how he wants Miss Elizabeth. Don't be cruel to a heart that's true. Love me tender. And by the end of the night, Macho Man Randy Savage will be in the ghetto. And then Macho Man, he ain't going to have any much of this. He has a promo. And again, you cannot match promos with Macho Man Randy Savage. I cannot say it enough. I cannot rephrase it to describe this awesomeness. I wouldn't be doing it justice. So we get the Honky Tonk Man versus Randy Macho Man Savage for the Intercontinental title. This is a fine match. This match is one of the easiest matches I've ever seen. You can see the Honky Tonk Man playing to the crowd, being the doing the shake, rattling the roll, all that good stuff. Macho Man being the pump and the, and the circumstances. This is just an easy match to, to get the... To, resonate the crowd off of them it's so easy they can just catwalk right through this they can just breeze right through and character wise they basically do breeze right through this this is just an easy match uh randy savage gets the victory via count out as the honky tonk man hightails it out of there after a decent number of minutes this is a fun match a six out of ten very fine next up Hulk Hogan has this training montage, and it's kind of weird. The music that they're doing this training montage is to Jake the Snake Roberts' theme, the theme that would become his theme. Okay. And, dude, to see Hulk Hogan so jacked, so jacked back in the day is insane because when I was growing up watching wrestling, I didn't see Hulk Hogan from that time period where he was jacked up and muscular. And all sorts of jacked up on roids. I saw the slim, uh, I saw the slim down off the roided Hulk Hogan. I saw the black and the white Hulk Hogan and the 2002 return Hulk Hogan. This is just crazy. So Andre and the brain have, and Teddy Biasi, they have their promos. Hogan has his promo. And we get to the match. Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. This is, you know, a lot of rematches tend to be better and some tend to be worse than their original counterparts. This match is just phenomenal. It is good. Now, maybe it isn't your cup of tea because, honestly, Andre bumped one time. 
Hogan bumped five times. Actually, Hogan took a top rope bump. He took a bump from the top rope. It was insane. Andre, like, grabbed him off of the top rope and just chucked his ass down. But that's not what it's all about. It's not about flips and kicks and loop-de-loops. It's about... It's about their characters. And my God, this is why guys like Hogan and Savage and all these guys, they are in a completely different level. These guys today, yeah, they're athletic as as all hell. And they're great in-ring competitors. But when it comes to gimmicks, when it comes to characters, you cannot match with Hulk Hogan. You cannot match with the Macho Man. You cannot match with Andre the Giant. You really just can't. This match, yes, it's not a technical classic. But as far as spear spectacle and what these characters can deliver, this was one hell of a rematch. One of the finest rematches you're going to find. This is one of the most important matches. 35 million people are watching this fucking match, by the way. This is great stuff. Great stuff. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. That might be a little bit overrating it, but this is Hogan versus Andre. They don't need to do flips, kicks, and loop-de-loops. They don't need to do a million thousand holds. This is just good stuff. Towards the end, Andre with the big headbutt, tossing, suplexing Hogan down. He gets to cover. One, two, at two. Hogan's shoulder is up, but the referee, Earl Hebner, or Dave Hebner, <laughs> Counts three anyways. Andre the Giant is the new World Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion of the world. He then immediately, 45 seconds later, surrenders the championship to the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, in one interesting move. Hogan is no longer the champion. And he talks about how much money, how much money. Did it cost to do the surgery, the plastic surgery? Look at look at the tape. Look at it. You can see the hundred dollar bills flying out of his pockets. And you see Earl and you see Dave. You see two fucking Hebners, twins. And it's like, who's the real Dave Hebner? Who's the real guy? Which one is which? Insane crap. I love it. So Hogan's in the back. He lost his world title. Andre surrenders the title to Ted DiBiase. I guess that's the only way he's winning the fucking title. And it's just great shit. Hogan's in the back crying. How much money did it cost to do the plastic surgery? Look, you can see the $100 bill slide out of his pockets. He beats up the referees. So, before there was a Montreal screw job, there was this incident. There was this incident. This is just crazy, crazy shit. And we end the show with the Heart Foundation and Strike Force. They just end in a smaz. There's not much going on in this match. This match lasts three minutes, honestly. They're not even paying attention to this match. All of the attention is on Andre and Hogan and Ted DiBiase. And this sets the table up for the big tournament for WrestleMania 4. And that's it. That is the main event. This is a spectacular show. 30 years ago today, and this is very historic. Again, 34 million people watched this on NBC. This was just incredible. Honky Tonk Man versus Macho Man was astonishing. Hogan, Andre, again, yes, these guys are good. But my God, you just can't compare with Hogan and Savage. Two Earl he two fucking Dave Hebners. Which one's Dave? Which one's the evil imposter? Who's the evil twin? Plastic surgery. How much money did it cost to do the plastic surgery? Mean Gene. This is an A+. Plus. Probably the greatest television show that they have ever produced. The greatest television broadcast they've ever produced. I'm Dan Rock 08, and I'll catch you next time when I decide to do 2006 year in review once again. Goodbye.